One of Raleigh's most popular houses for Halloween decorations looks a bit different tonight. The owner of the house in Raleigh's historic Oakwood neighborhood says thieves got away with thousands of dollars in decorations, including a custom made clown. The home was not the only one. Check out this ring security camera video. Another neighbor posted. Yeah, there he goes right there. It shows someone leaping over a gate to steal a mannequin from a display on the porch. W. Orioles Matt Talholm, sh Talhelm shows us what the thieves got away with in this Halloween heist. Historic Oakwood is known for its Halloween decorations and no house more so than this when there are more than a hundred life size skeletons and monsters out here, even coffins spilling out onto the street. Every Halloween for the last 12 years, this home attracts the living. This is our tradition. We come over here every Halloween and look at all the, the fun. To pose for photos with the dead. That chat, Instagram. I think it's pretty cool. And take selfies with zombies. Scary and <laughs> fun. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> Jesse Jones is the mastermind of this macabre array. It's just a good time to come here. You, you can dress up, you can do whatever, nobody cares. But now it's turned into a nightmare on East Street and Oakwood Avenue. Jones says thieves hit his display in the dark of night. They took Crunchy the Clown. They took a big a Pennywise I had made for me. They took two killer clowns from outer space. They took a Jason. A cauldron of burned, beheaded baby dolls is all that's left where Crouchy was. Pennywise is it since the killer clown standing next to him was stolen. Thieves also made off with an animatronic mask wearing Jason. They targeted and took the good stuff. They didn't leave. They didn't mess with the stuff that was cheaper. They took the high end stuff, so they knew what they were doing. Jones says some of the custom made creepy figures are irreplaceable. He estimates the loss at $3,000. There's not a resale value for these unless you pop them on Facebook market and somebody picks them up. Um, I, I don't understand what, what the purpose is, unless they want a big Halloween house themselves. Fans of his Halloween house in Oakwood can't believe there's now a Grinch who stole another holiday. I think it's terrible. Well, just let's just have fun. Don't don't steal from people. It's disappointing. It's not kind. It's sad because it's disrespecting their work and the appreciation they have for the community. Jones says in 12 years of putting this display together, he's never had an incident like this. Matt Tallhelm, WRL News, Raleigh. Raleigh police are asking anyone who had Halloween decorations stolen to report it to them.